Two men who sold more than a half million dollars in shares to investors for global aquaponics say they suspected something fishy was going on when they took their concerns to the FBI. Kelloland's Angela Kennecke began investigating the proposed fish and vegetable farm near Brookings back in 2016. Now she's following defendant Tim Burns' trial, a former global aquaponics leader charged with fraud. Well, Sammy, former global aquaponics salesman Greg Selberg testified in court today that he and salesman Jeremiah Charlson met with Tobias Reitzman and his attorney and told them they suspected Burns of misappropriation of funds and foul play. Selberg said they were told to just go out and sell more units to investors. Last week, the man behind the global aquaponics scheme, Tobias Reitzman, pled guilty to 18 felony counts. Now, the federal government is trying to prove to the jury that Brookings developer Tim Burns was in on it with Reitzman. Burns claims he was one of the biggest investors in the company and just another victim of Reitzman. Today in court, the prosecution showed the jury our Kelloland News video of the groundbreaking on June 7th of 2016. Tim Burns was identified several times in this video. Other evidence in the case also shows Burns holding joint bank accounts with Tobias Reitzman or being a signer on his account for a period of time. This afternoon, at least eight investors who lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in the scheme took the stand. Some of them testified they were told Global Aquaponics had at least $5 million on hand and owned the land where the facility was supposed to be built. Reitzman admitted in court he didn't have the money and didn't own the land. Only one investor was able to get his money back. Tom Palmer testified when he realized the facility wasn't being built, he asked global aquaponics officials for a refund. Palmer says former Board of Regents president and state legislator Dean Krogman gave him a personal check for the amount. You may remember, Krogman traded in a home he owned to pay for the land for the project nearly a year after the groundbreaking. Krogman has never spoken publicly about his involvement with global aquaponics, but he may be called as a witness in Burns' trial.